Good day. Well, welcome back to our camp. It's uh, nearly time for dinner. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get anything for dinner. Um, Mix shaking the big stick down the rabbit hole trick didn't really produce anything. Um, no, seriously, there aren't any rabbits in this. Place. Didn't. There's loads of rabbits. He just he just got the wrong stick. He uh, we didn't really find any fish. Um, there aren't any fish here. There's, there's loads of fish. We just haven't seen them. And uh, we're not in this bear because we have got a bit of a backup plan. I know you shouldn't really, but I thought this would be a good thing to do on the telly. It's uh, bake telly. some bread. So we've got some uh, soda bread mix. It's, it's already on done. The telly, Gaz. Yeah, it's on the telly. It's on the telly. It's on, we're on the telly. Hello. Hello, Bob. There you go. We're on the telly. So, right, if you're all watching out, if you're still watching, you haven't turned off yet. Right. Pre-mix, the idea is, you just put it, up, put it in your pot. And as you can tell, I'm not a Delia Smith, so... Um, not just any pot though, is it, Gav? No, it's a billy can. And it's not just any old billy can. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do? Ah, oh, well, we'll take, we'll take that when we get to it. What oh, we do, yeah. we, put the powder, we put the flour in there. Not sure how much yet, and how much it's going to be, but we'll stick it some in, right? And then uh, we'll just plate it by here to start with. And then we put in the hot chocolate. No, we want a bit of water. Should really be warm. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll stick this in here. We'll put a bit of water in here. And then put it down here. Yeah, put the, put the handles out so it, you can pick it up afterwards. Just place it on the fire there. We're just going to warm that. Now we're going to do today, we're going to cook it because we've got two billy cans. And first of all, obviously we put our flour mix in there and then we mix a bit of warm water or milk. We've just got water because we couldn't find any cows either. Although we weren't looking for cows. So there may be some, but we ain't seen them. There aren't any. But how do you make an oven? Ah, but you need an oven. And this is how you make an oven out in the bush. There are only sheep here. You get two billy cans, a large one, and a smaller one. And the idea is not to let the surface of this camp touch the flames. So you get yourself a nice stone, a nice flat stone, that's pop the, that in there. That's the clever bit. And then you pop, when you've done your dough mix, when it's all done, that pops in there. You put the lid on both of them, on the inside one, and then that pops in there. So you get the, so the inner billy can is like insulated and there's a bit of air around. You got yourself a little oven. Or bread oven in this case. Uh, I'll just put your finger in. That's just warming up nicely. Bit of lukewarm water there. And I'll uh, just take that down. I'm not too sure of the quantities. Alright, watch out mate. That's right. Looks about right. Not too sure of the quantities. Miles up. So um, I'm just going to pop a bit in there to start with. That'll do it. And uh, we're going to give it a go. Have a Excuse fingers. Yeah, where have those fingers been? Um, been down rabbit holes. Trying to find Mike's big stick. Excuse <laughs> me, Henry. Henry, can you bugger off? Good lad. That's it. You step back out there. Ah, this is it, you see, yeah, we'll give it a good mix, can you see? I say, I'm not an expert, so I don't know how long it needs. 20 to 25 minutes, it said. Well, I was a little bit needed. Ah, uh, why has <laughs> the baker got brown fingers? Because it's uh, soda, but it's a wholemeal one. Why has a baker got brown fingers? Oh, is this a joke? Why does a baker have brown fingers? He needed a poo. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I'm trying to cook here, yeah? You're going to put people off to dinner. They're never going to do this recipe. Oh. The latrines over there, we dug a latrine today. Yeah, Mike will show you that later. He puts his jokes in there because they're shit. <laughs> now, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> But we'll, uh, you know, give it a whirl. You're going to lick your fingers. Yeah, but well, we got no water. I've used all the water to wash my hands. Right? We've got to make it into a, a couple of balls. 
put a bit of flare on my hands. Oh shit. Okay. Don't do that. Now we had only about grease in the pan because we can't do that, but we, we can flare, flare it a bit. Yeah, yeah. We can flare it a little bit. So uh a little bit of this, I'm gonna put a bit of that in there. And uh there's a bit of a lump there. So we've got one little roll there. Here's another one, look at that. Do you think it's best... Oh no. What? I was thinking maybe put it into one so it expands in the whole pot, as if you've got four things going on. Well, the thing is, though, if you put it into one, it might not cook through the middle. Because it says gas mark seven. Yeah. Well, we've got some embers, but... Stuck away here, yeah, could take hours to do one big one. So I'm just going to do four small ones in there. And if they do all sort of big build up and getting her, I don't know how much this is supposed to expand. I've never done it before. <laughs> I just thought it would be a good idea if you're living out in the wild, bit of an accompaniment. And I thought it'd be a bit of fun. Bring some scofer bread. Yeah, soda bread. And I thought it'd be a bit of fun to do it on a telly. Speciality brown. If, er. Uh, it's good enough for Delia. It's good enough for me. We've got a rock in there just to give it a bit I of think a we space. Need a bigger one than that. No, we don't, because we don't fit this lid on, you see, because they're quite a tight fit. Because this lid's got to seal it so you get hot air going all the way around. Doi. Doi. Voila, we now have our own little bread oven, and hopefully, in about 25 minutes, We'll have four bums of scofa bread. Yeah, can't right. brown. So, I'll just pop that on there like that. There you go. And we'll leave that there. And, uh, so here we go. So, uh, we'll come back to you shortly. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. <laughs> leave, it's pissing about in my bloody bread. Leave it. Welcome back to uh, our little cookery part. Um, they've been on a fair while now, a bit longer than we uh, thought they would be, but uh, we ain't got gas mark seven. So uh, I'm just going to uh, take these off the uh, fire now and uh, have a butcher's of what we've got. That's, uh, obviously don't try this at home, because you'll have a cooker. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Now this is just an experiment. We only sort of mixed it for a few minutes, so you'll probably find that it's uh, a load of crap. But... Ooh. Let's have a look at what we've got here. I say! Pretty impressive. Ho ho ho. I don't say so myself, or do say so myself, but I don't say so myself. But look at that. Can you see that? Look. Uh, nice rolls. Let's just break these up and uh, have a try and have a look what's inside. They're a bit hot still. Oh, looks awesome. Oh, let me know. Let me know. Look at that lovely, fluffy bread. Do you know, Mark? I've impressed myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, blimey. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, that is nice. <coughs> That's spot on, isn't it? That's impressive. Let them cool down a bit. And uh, we've got hot bread. Uh, see what you think of that? It's been marvellous. Uh, I've impressed myself. Oh. Mm. Gordon Ramsay, move over.